welcome back to I Tai Chi for Life. Thank you for joining me to share in the wonderful uh, benefits of Tai Chi. So hopefully you've gone to the video where you learned the Tai Chi walk and then part one of parting wild horse's mane, which was the leg work. And now today we're going to learn what happens with the hands and we're going to put it all together to learn parting wild horse's mane, which is from the Yang 24 style form. So first, watch me. So hopefully you recognize the, the footwork and now we just have this beautiful exchange between yin and yang of our hands. So let's try this together. Now there is a directionality to this where we do a 90 degree turn, but just for the purpose of this video we're just going to do it walking towards each other. So follow me, feet shoulder width apart. Hands come up. And then you're going to weight shift to the right and hold a ball with your right hand on top. I should probably be doing this mirror image. Let's see if, we, if I can do that. So bring your hands up. Weight shift to your right. So I'm your mirror image, right hand on top. Good. Let's try that a couple more times. Bring your hands up, weight shift to your right, right hand on top, so you're carrying that large ball. You've got most of the weight on your right leg. Again, up, weight shift to your right, right hand on top. Continue to follow me. Take your left foot, bring it in a little closer, that's our half step, then out to the side for our Charlie Chaplin type walk. Now, as you weight shift towards that front leg, squish that ball, and I like to call this throwing the frisbee or serving a plate. Your bottom hand is going to come out, almost like throwing a frisbee, and your bottom hand comes down and rests on that large dog's head perhaps Maestro, my trusty assistant's head. So, let's try that again. Follow me. Up. Weight shift to your right. Right hand comes on top. Left foot comes closer as sort of gathering energy. Step out. Now from here you squish that ball. Weight shift. Throw that frisbee. Of course, it's slow, and your right hand's resting on Maestro's head. One more time. Up. Weight shift. Bring that foot in. It comes out. As you weight shift, you squish the ball. Throw the frisbee. Now from here, remember we have weight shift back. So you weight shift back and your hands turn. Turn that toe. So from here, your left palm is facing up, your right palm is facing down, right? So we're just going to reverse that role because in Tai Chi we have lots of yin and yang reversing roles. So just make them opposite, like turning a doorknob on both hands, like so. Good. Try that again. Turn that doorknob as you come back and turn the toe. And now you're holding that ball. Weight shift. 
half step. Now stepping off to the left, squish that ball, serve that frisbee. Come back, turning your palms, holding that ball, your right hand's on top. Weight shift, half step, stepping out, squish that ball. It's the bottom hand that comes out as you weight shift forward. Good. Pull back, turn the palms, turn your toe, holding that ball. Half step. Step off to the side, or Charlie Chaplin walk. Squish that ball. Either serve the bladder or throw the frisbee. Come back, turn those palms, turn the toe. Holding that ball, step closer. Step off, come back up just a little bit. Now as you wake, shift on that towards that left leg, left hand serves out the frisbee. Come back, hold that ball. Squish the ball, serve the frisbee, and so if you're feeling a little confused about which hand is on top and which one serves and all of that, that's perfectly normal. But just as a rule of thumb, whatever leg you're lunging forward on is the serving hand. So let's try putting it together one more time. Huh? Weight shift to the right, right hand on top, left foot comes closer, out to the side. Squish that ball, you're lunging forward on your left leg, so therefore your left hand serves the frisbee. Come back, turn those palms, turn the toe. Hold the ball, weight shift, half step, squish, serve, turn, hold the ball, squish, serve, turn, Hold the ball. Squish. Serve. Turn. Hold the ball. I'm going to back up just a touch. Sorry about that. Squish. Serve. Turn. Hold the ball. Squish, serve, turn, and let's just come back down to the middle. I know I'm not really with you right now, but I sort of am, and I kind of feel like we need to practice that one more time. Oh, there you go. Let's just finish off. 
So that is parting Wild Horse's Mane with the legs and the hands. So I would encourage you to run this video back, keep practicing it, uh, and then turn the video off and see what you can remember because that's the final step of really internalizing this. And challenge yourself and give yourself permission to make mistakes, laugh at yourself. If you can't remember it, it's okay because I'm still here on video and in my classes. And we will continue to build on this, learning the 24 form together. So it is always my pleasure and my privilege to share with you in strength and friendship and humility the beauties of Tai Chi. Thank you very much, and I will see you next lesson.